Hi everyone, thanks for coming and welcome to the London, Edinburgh and Canterbury International Film Festivals. My name is Mims Melville and I'm going to be hosting our virtual award ceremony this afternoon. I'm super excited to be here, even if it is through a screen. Today, we're going to be celebrating the best of the officially selected films in the three festivals. We have lots of categories separated into documentaries, shorts, foreign language films and English language films. We'll start with Canterbury, then we'll move on to Edinburgh and finally London. As always, we are able to celebrate such diversity in independent film with films submitted from all over the world. This is a long list, so get ready. We have had entries from USA, Hong Kong, Australia, China, Spain, Puerto Rico, New Zealand, Honduras, India, Japan, Czech Republic, Netherlands, Switzerland, Qatar, Turkey, Myanmar, Belgium, Russia, Mexico, Canada, Poland, Argentina, Germany, France, Austria, Sweden, Philippines, Serbia, Croatia, Brazil, Finland, Italy, and right here in the UK. A big thanks to the film festival team, Kuru, Adam and Roy, and of course, thank you to our festival president, Carl Tooney. The past two years have been extremely difficult for all of us across the world. In particular, certainly in the UK, the arts have suffered greatly. It's a testament to the phenomenal creative community that we have been able to continue running festivals throughout this difficult time. We extend thanks to each and every one of you. Our next festival is in Nice in the south of France in May and while I can't personally be there, the whole team is excited to see you in person. For now, let's move on with the Canterbury Awards 2022. This is a YouTube watch party and whilst you can't stream with us, please do share your speeches on Instagram and tag us at Film Festival INT so we can share them on our stories. And now, let's begin. The first category is Best Cinematography in a Documentary. The nominees are A Letter from Carl Jung and Something Ain't Right. And the winner is Something Ain't Right. Congratulations to them. I hope to see your speech on our Instagram later on. And the next category is Best Director of a Documentary. The nominees are A Letter from Carl Jung and Something Ain't Right. And the winner is Something Ain't Right. Looks like we'll be getting a double speech from you on Instagram. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. And the next category is Best Documentary. The nominees are A Letter from Carl Jung and Something Ain't Right. And the winner is A Letter from Carl Jung. Congratulations to them. The next category is Best Editing. And the nominees are When I, I Love You, Love Linda, The Life of Mrs. Cole Porter, and Jimmy's Tail. And the winner is Jimmy's Tail. Congratulations. The next category is Best Cinematography. And the nominees are Mount Umer, She Q, and Garden District. And the winner is Mount Umer. Congratulations, well done. And the next category is Best Actress. The nominees are Garden District, Janet Shea. When I, I Love You, Sarah Ahmed. And Love Linda, The Life of Mrs. Cole Porter, Stevie Holland. And the winner is Garden District, Janet Shea. Congratulations, Janet and the team. The next category is Best Actor. And the nominees are Jimmy's Tale, Gabe Fonseca. 
Mount Umer, Sampada Pawa, and Shiq Yu, Tom Oji Kubudu, Kubono, sorry, Tom Oji Kubono. And the winner is Shiq Yu. Congratulations. We're down to our last two categories for the Canterbury Film Festival, and then we'll move on to the Edinburgh one. The next category is Best Director, and the nominees are Jimmy's Tale, Garden District, Love Linda, The Life of Mrs. Cole Porter, Mount Umer, and She Q. And the winner is Love Linda, The Life of Mrs. Cole Porter. Congratulations. And the final category for the Canterbury Film Festival 2022 is Best Film. And the nominees are Jimmy's Tale, Garden District, Love Linda, The Life of Mrs. Cole Porter, She Q, and When I, I Love You. And the winner is Jimmy's Tale. Congratulations. That concludes our Canterbury Film Festival 2022, so we'll move on to the Edinburgh Film Festival. Alessandra Usai is an Italian director and producer. She left Sardinia, her birthplace, in 1999 to move to Milan, where she graduated in film history and documentary. Alessandra has worked on several well-received documentaries. Her work on film has broad registers, from biographical documentary to anthropological projects, to architectural research, to video dance. One of her first experiences as director was Vrindavan in India, where she shot a documentary concerned with social justice and ecological issues. Much of her work as a documentary filmmaker has a strong anthropological basis because Alessandra focuses on the preservation of sidelined histories, experiences and traditions as she works through extensive interviews and interaction with local communities. From 2010 to 2018, she lived and worked in Dublin, where in 2012, Alessandra directed her first period drama, Ladies of Burr Castle, produced by Snugborough Films. In 2014, she worked for the project Ladies of Science, an historical documentary about the extraordinary story of Mary Ward and Mary Ross. These two women were pioneer scientists, in particular about photography, astronomy and entomology. In 2015, the documentary won Best TV Documentary at Life Fest Film Festival in Hollywood, Best Editing Documentary at the Saint-Tropez International Film Festival, Best TV Documentary at the International Filmmaker Festival of Milano, where she also received the Scientific and Educational Award. In 2016, the documentary was bought by RTE Television in Ireland. In February 2016, she created a group for women called Women Filmmakers in Dublin to support the women's work in the film industry. And in her works, she always involves a large number of female professionals. In the same year, she opened her Irish film company, Hypatia Pictures. After her last film in Ireland, Jambite, in 2018, she decided to move back to Sardinia in Italy. In 2019, she opened the new company, Nicole Films. Together with her husband and producer, Nicola Menuni, they produced their first Italian project, The Miracle of Sinners, with Alessandra's direction. The docufiction tells the story of the miraculous intervention of the sinners who were sentenced to forced labour in the largest agricultural penal colony of Italy and one of the biggest in Europe, in Cassiadas, Sardinia, from 1875 to 1956, to reclaim a territory of 6,500 hectares uninhabited for 350 years, unhealthy, swampy and malarial. The director, Alessandra Usai, in describing and showing the events of this exceptional work, brings to light the profound social aspect of a prison's system based on re-education, redemption and reintegration into society of those people who were found guilty towards society itself. 
The documentary was shot in the beautiful coast of Castilladas in November 2019. And despite the pandemic restrictions, Nicola and Alessandra did not stop their project. And in 2020, they were working at the Chinachita Studios with a talented team on post-production. In 2021, after a series of difficulties due to the pandemic, Alessandra and Nicola have been able to present the film to the market. And in November, she won Best Director at the Milan International Film Festival. They are both happy to be presenting the film The Miracle of Sinners at the Edinburgh Film Festival. Alessandra has never stopped working throughout the pandemic period. And at the moment, she is involved in her first feature film, Welcome back and welcome to the Edinburgh Film Festival 2022. The first category is Best Set Design and the nominees are Diar Hasma, Had Altar, John Tregenoweth, His Mark, Mirror and When I, I Love You. And the winner is Had Altar. The next category is Best Hair, Makeup and Costume. And the nominees are John Tregenoweth, His Mark, The Miracle of Sinners, and When I, I Love You. And the winner is When I, I Love You. The next category is Best Music and the nominees are Left of Chopin, Little Bird, Mount Humain and The Chair and the winner is Left of Chopin. Congratulations. The next category is Best Sound Design. And the nominees are A Story of Courage, Black in Fashion, Can't Stop the Sun from Shining, and Egg Rebelled. And the winner is Can't Stop the Sun from Shining. The next category is Best Editing of a Documentary. And the nominees are Black in Fashion, Can't Stop the Sun from Shining, and Why We Love War. And the winner is Why We Love War. The next category is Best Cinematography in a Documentary. The nominees are a Story of Courage and the Miracle of Sinners. And the winner is A Story of Courage. Congratulations. The next category is Best Director of a Documentary. And the nominees are A Story of Courage, Black in Fashion, Can't Stop the Sun from Shining, the Miracle of Sinners and Why We Love War. And the winner is Can't Stop the Sun from Shining. The next category is Best Documentary. And the nominees are A Story of Courage, Black in Fashion, Can't Stop the Sun from Shining. The Miracle of Sinners and Why We Love War. And the winner is The Miracle of Sinners. The next category is Best Editing. And the nominees are 
Casual criminals. Junoon. Little bird. And mirror. And the winner is... Little bird. The next category is Best Cinematography and the nominees are Egg Rebelled, John Tregenoweth, His Mark, Mount Umer, The Chair and When I, I Love You. And the winner is Mount Umer. Congratulations. The next category is Best Actress and the nominees are Casual Criminals, Aaron Mulvaney Had Altar, Adwa Fahad John Tregenoweth, His Mark, Kate Sanderson Left of Chopin, Shion Mizuta Little Bird, Amal Al Takafi and When I, I Love You, Sarah Ahmed and the winner is John Tregowanov, Tra Tra his mark. The next category is Best Actor. And the nominees are Casual Criminals, Brian Walsh, Diar Hasma, Salem Alatwi, and Awad Alatwi, Junoon. Man B. Left of Chopin, Kenji Nakamura. And Mount Umer, Sampada Parawa. Sorry, Sampada Pawa. And the winner is Casual Criminals, Brian Moore. The next category is Best Director. And the nominees are Casual Criminals, Diar Hasma, Egg Rebelled, Had Altar, Junoon, Left of Chopin, Little Bird, and Mirror. And the winner is Mirror. Congratulations. And the final category for the Edinburgh Film Festival 2022 is Best Picture of the Festival. And the nominees are Casual Criminals, Had Altar, Junoon, Left of Chopin, and Mirror. And the winner is Left of Chopin. Fabulous. That brings us to the end of the Edinburgh Film Festival 2022. When we come back, we'll do the London Film Festival 2022. Alessandra Usai is an Italian director and producer. She left Sardinia, her birthplace, in 1999 to move to Milan, where she graduated in film history and documentary. Alessandra has worked on several well-received documentaries. Her work on film has broad registers, from biographical documentary to anthropological projects, to architectural research, to video dance. One of her first experiences as director was Vrindavan in India, where she shot a documentary concerned with social justice and ecological issues. Much of her work as a documentary filmmaker has a strong anthropological basis because Alessandra focuses on the preservation of sidelined histories, experiences and traditions as she works through extensive interviews and interaction with local communities. From 2010 to 2018, she lived and worked in Dublin, where in 2012, Alessandra directed her first period drama, Ladies of Burr Castle, produced by Snugborough Films. In 2014, she worked for the project Ladies of Science, an historical documentary about the extraordinary story of Mary Ward and Mary Ross. These two women were pioneer scientists, in particular about photography, astronomy and entomology. In 2015, the documentary won Best TV Documentary at Life Fest Film Festival in Hollywood, Best Editing Documentary 
at the Saint-Tropez International Film Festival, Best TV Documentary at the International Filmmaker Festival of Milano, where she also received the Scientific and Educational Award. In 2016, the documentary was bought by RTE Television in Ireland. In February 2016, she created a group for women called Women Filmmakers in Dublin to support the women's work in the film industry. And in her works, she always involves a large number of female professionals. In the same year, she opened her Irish film company, Hypatia Pictures. After her last film in Ireland, Jambite, in 2018, she decided to move back to Sardinia in Italy. In 2019, she opened the new company, Nicole Films. Together with her husband and producer, Nicola Menuni, they produced their first Italian project, The Miracle of Sinners, with Alessandra's direction. The docufiction tells the story of the miraculous intervention of the sinners who were sentenced to forced labour in the largest agricultural penal colony of Italy and one of the biggest in Europe, in Cassiadas, Sardinia, from 1875 to 1956, to reclaim a territory of 6,500 hectares uninhabited for 350 years, unhealthy, swampy and malarial. The director, Alessandra Usai, in describing and showing the events of this exceptional work, brings to light the profound social aspect of a prison's system based on re-education, redemption, and reintegration into society of those people who were found guilty towards society itself. The documentary was shot in the beautiful coast of Castiadas in November 2019, and despite the pandemic restrictions, Nicola and Alessandra did not stop their project, and in 2020, they were working at the Chena Cheetah Studios with a talented team on post-production. In 2021, after a series of difficulties due to the pandemic, Alessandra and Nicola have been able to present the film to the market. And in November, she won Best Director at the Milan International Film Festival. They are both happy to be presenting the film The Miracle of Sinners at the Edinburgh Film Festival. Alessandra has never stopped working throughout the pandemic period. And at the moment, she is involved in her first feature film, Welcome back and welcome to the London International Film Festival 2022. We've got most of the categories to get through here. And the first one is Best Costume. And the nominees are Casual Criminals, Golden Lotus, Orson Rehearsed, Prince of Dreams, The Race and The Miracle of Sinners. And the winner is the race. Congratulations. The next category is Best Set Design. And the nominees are Egg Rebelled, Miriam, Psyched, Red Skies, Talladanda Beheading Life, Teacher of the Year, and the race. And the winner is Red Skies. The next category is Best Hair and Makeup. And the nominees are Golden Lotus, Goro's 400 million yen, The Death Game, Jabberwanky, Junoon. The Blue Mountain and The Race. And the winner is Golden Lotus. The next category is Best Visual Effects. And the nominees are Alone, Death is Smoking My Cigars. D.R. Hasma, George Floyd, Say Their Names, Miriam, and The Chair. And the winner is Miriam. The next category is Best Animation or Animated Sequence. 
And the nominees are Alone, Babylon, Ghetto, Renaissance and Modern Oblivion, Death is Smoking My Cigars, Miriam, The Chair, and The Game is Up, Disillusioned Trump Voters Tell Their Stories. And the winner is Alone. The next category is Best Original Score and the nominees are Alone, Golden Lotus, Awesome Rehearsed, The Chair and The Race and the winner is Awesome Rehearsed. The next category is Best Sound Design and the nominees are Death is Smoking My Cigars, Little Bird, Miriam, Mr. Non-Existent, Prince of Dreams, The Stories of Us and The Weight of Time. And the winner is The Weight of Time. The next category is Best Originally Recorded Song and the nominees are Babylon, Ghetto Renaissance and Modern Oblivion, Brutal Honesty, George Floyd, Say Their Names and Junoon and the winner is Brutal Honesty. the Science Award and the nominees are The Power of Fate, The Signal in the Noise and The South Wind and the winner is The Signal in the Noise. is Best Unproduced Scripts and the nominees are The Midwife's Case Notes in a Time of Contagion, Cold Hard Cash, Night of the Living Ned, A Reason to Be, Maven Moon, Second Date, Face Painters, The Journey of Life, Boxed Up, Meeting Director Sam Peckinpah and Legends and the winners are Cold Hard Cash and Face Painters. Congratulations. The next category is Historical Interest Award and the nominees are An Albatross Postman her Stories, Candor Bode, Don't Get Whipped, Leveling Lincoln, Lost Vegas, Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow in Our Gender Diverse Community, Remembering, The Moritz Keek Story, The Stories of Us, Boneyard Alaska and The Miracle of Sinners. And the winner is The Miracle of Sinners. The next category is Exceptional Showcase of the Arts Award and the nominees are Alone, Death is Smoking My Cigars and The Race and the winner is Death is Smoking My Cigars. The next category is Jury Award. And the nominees are Golden Lotus, Moonlight Diner, The Game Is Up, 
disillusioned Trump voters tell their stories. The power of fate, the signal in the noise, Boneyard Alaska, and the miracle of sinners. And the winner is Golden Lotus. The next category is Best Editing of a Documentary. And the nominees are An Albatross Postman, Babylon, Ghetto, Renaissance and Modern Oblivion, Calliope's From Fear to Freedom, Leveling Lincoln, Lost Vegas, Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow in Our Gender Diverse Community, Remembering the Moritz Keek Story, The Signal in the Noise, the South Wind and the Stories of Us. And the winner is The Stories of Us. The next category is Best Cinematography in a Documentary. And the nominees are Her Stories, Kanda Bode, Don't Get Whipped. Prince of Dreams, The Day I Became a British Citizen. The Game is Up, Disillusioned Trump Voters Tell Their Stories. The Power of Fate, Boneyard Alaska, and The Miracle of Sinners. And the winner is The Power of Fate. Best Director of a Foreign Language Documentary. And the nominees are Her Stories, Candor Bode, Don't Get Whipped, An Albatross Postman, Prince of Dreams, The Power of Fate, and The South Wind. And the winner is The South Wind. is Best Foreign Language Documentary and the nominees are Her Stories, Canda Bode Don't Get Whipped, An Albatross Postman, Prince of Dreams, The Power of Fate and The South Wind and the winner is Prince of Dreams. The next category is Best Director of a Short Documentary. And the nominees are Remembering the Moritz Keek story, Calliope's From Fear to Freedom, and The Day I Became a British Citizen. And the winner is The Day I Became a British Citizen. Best Short Documentary. And the nominees are Babylon, Ghetto, Renaissance and Modern Oblivion. Calliope's From Fear to Freedom. Remembering the Moritz Keek story. And the day I became a British citizen. And the winner is Calliope's From Fear to Freedom. The next category is Best Director of a Feature Documentary. And the nominees are Leveling Lincoln, Lost Vegas, Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow in Our Gender Diverse Community. The Signal in the Noise. The Game is Up, Disillusioned Trump Voters Tell Their Stories. The Stories of Us, Boneyard Alaska and The Miracle of Sinners. And the winner is the game is up. Disillusioned Trump voters tell their stories. The next category is Best Feature Documentary. And the nominees are 
Leveling Lincoln. Lost Vegas. Yesterday, today and tomorrow in our gender diverse community. The signal in the noise. The game is up. Disillusioned Trump voters tell their stories. The stories of us. Boneyard Alaska and the miracle of sinners. And the winner is the signal in the noise. The next category is best editing of a short film. And the nominees are Brutal Honesty, Court Number Five, The Exit, and The Weight of Time. And the winner is the weight of time. The next category is Best Cinematography in a Short Film. And the nominees are Breach Investigation, Psyched, Red Skies, and The Blue Mountain. And the winner is The Blue Mountain. The next category is Best Original Screenplay of a Short Film. And the nominees are Breach Investigation, Court Number Five, Red Skies and the weight of time. And the winner is Breach Investigation. The next category is Outstanding Actress in a Short Film. And the nominees are Brutal Honesty, Kike Brima, Court Number Five, Maggie Cornwell and Marie Cornwell. Psyched, Rosie Jane. Red Skies, Leah Urquhart and Maya Shoham. The Exit, Iced Diziut. And the winner is Psyched, Rosie Jane. The next category is Outstanding Actor in a Short Film. And the nominees are Psyched, Alex Nazir Hiji. Breach Investigation, Byron Brockman. The Blue Mountain, Gabriel Rush. The Exit, Jacob Meadows. Brutal Honesty, Joshua Dillon. And The Weight of Time, Rodrigo Turnavoy and Cormac O'Brien. And the winner is Brutal Honesty, Joshua Dillon. The next category is Best Director of a Short Film. And the nominees are Psyched, The Blue Mountain, Brutal Honesty, Court number five, The Weight of Time, Breach Investigation, The Exit, and Red Skies. And the winner is Red Skies. The next category is Best Short Film, and the nominees are Psyched, The Blue Mountain, Brutal Honesty, Court Number Five, The Weight of Time, Breach Investigation, The Exit, and Red Skies. And the winner is Court Number Five. is 
Best Original Screenplay of a Short Foreign Language Film. And the nominees are Diar Hasma, Impasse, Little Bird, Mr. Non-Existent, and Twin Sisters. And the nominee, and sorry, and the winner is Mr. Non-Existent. <laughs> The next category is Best Director of a Short Foreign Language Film. And the nominees are Diar Hasma, Egg Rebelled, Impasse, Mr. Non-Existent, Sense with Nonsense, and Twin Sisters. And the winner is Twin Sisters. Congratulations. is Best Short Foreign Language Film and the nominees are Diar Hasma, Egg Rebelled, Impasse, Little Bird, Mr. Non-Existent, Sense with Nonsense and Twin Sisters and the winner is Diar Hasma. Best Editing of a Foreign Language Film. And the nominees are Goro's 400 Million Yen, The Death Game, Had Altar, Moonlight Diner, and Sense with Nonsense. And the winner is Had Altar. The next category is Best Cinematography in a Foreign Language Film. And the nominees are Betrayal, Egg Rebelled, Impasse, Little Bird, and Talladanda, Beheading Life. And the winner is Talladanda, Beheading Life. is Best Original Screenplay of a Feature Foreign Language Film and the nominees are Betrayal and Moonlight Diner and the winner is Moonlight Diner. The next category is Outstanding Leading Actress in a Foreign Language Film. And the nominees are Goro's 400 Million Yen, The Death Game, Mika Tokutake and Ai Furukawa. Impasse, Maria Intamoya. Junoon, Ida Alkuse. Moonlight Diner, Rei Sugai. And Sense with Nonsense, Lee Waihisi. And the winner is Sense with Nonsense. And the next category is Outstanding Leading Actor in a Foreign Language Film. And the nominees are Betrayal, Aki Avni. Egg Rebelled, Majed Al Turki. Had Al Tar, Ajeba Al Doseri. Mr. Non-existent, Erhan Yashioglu, and twin sisters, Zheng De Zhao. And the winner is Mr. Non-existent. The next category is 
Best Director of a Foreign Language Feature Film. And the nominees are Betrayal, Had Altar, Junoon, Moonlight Diner, and Talladanda, Beheading Life. And the winner is Moonlight Diner. is Best Foreign Language Feature Film and the nominees are Betrayal, Had Altar, Junoon and Talladanda Beheading Life and the winner is Betrayal. Best Editing. And the nominees are Casual Criminals and Jabberwanky. And the winner is Jabberwanky. The next category is Best Cinematography. And the nominees are Mount Umer, Teacher of the Year, and When I, I Love You. And the winner is When I, I Love You. The next category is Best Actress, and the nominees are Casual Criminals, Karen O'Fort, and Teacher of the Year, Miranda Jonti. And the winner is... Teacher of the Year. And the next category is Best Actor. And the nominees are... Casual Criminals, Rick Riordan. Goro's 400 million yen, The Death Game. Yude Uanishi and Jabberwangi, William Wallace. And the winner is Goro's 400 million yen, The Death Game. The next category is Best Director. And the nominees are Orson Rehearse. Teacher of the Year, Jabberwanky, and Casual Criminals. And the winner is Orson Rehearsed. We're on to our last two categories of the London International Film Festival now. And this category is Best Feature Film. And the nominees are Orson Rehearsed, Teacher of the Year, Jabberwanky, and Casual Criminals. And the winner is Casual Criminals. And our last category is, of course, Best Picture of the Festival. And the nominees are Betrayal, Goro's 400 million yen, The Death Game, Had Altar, Jabberwanky, and Orson Rehearsed. And the winner is Goro's 400 million yen, The Death Game. Congratulations. last category so with that I want to say thank you all so much for coming and joining from wherever you are whether it's four in the morning or 11 at night we really do appreciate it thank you all for creating such important work during this difficult time it's amazing just how many lives it touches it really is wonderful so from all of us here we hope you keep creating films and if you can't create films just keep creating thank you so much